All right. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using MIT App Inventor to build smartphone apps. And so to use App Inventor, you navigate to the website appinventor.mit.edu, like you can see up here in the URL bar in my browser. So once you've opened that up, you're going to click on the Create Apps button. Now, when you click on it, it's going to give you some prompts to create an account in App Inventor. I've already created an account, so when I click on it, it's going to take me straight to my project screen. And so that's the screen you'll see once you've created your account. So let's go ahead and go there. I'm going to click on Create Apps. And it just takes a moment to load up. All right, and this is my project uh, screen. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call this project Color Buttons. So this will be uh, the name of the very first app that we're going to create, Color Buttons. I'm going to click OK. And now it will open it up. So what we get within App Inventor is a picture of what the app will look like once it's running on the device. Right now, it doesn't look like much. There's a title and some blank space. Now what we're gonna do with this app is we're going to put some buttons on it so that the user can change the background color. So I want to give this a title that's better than screen one. So I'm going to come over to the right to the properties area. So right now the only object on the interface is the screen itself. And down here towards the bottom is the title. So I'm going to change the title to color buttons. And notice that immediately updates over here in this view. So when I run the app, the term color buttons will immediately come up. So let's go ahead and add a button. So how do we go about doing that? On the left-hand side is what's called the palette. And the palette contains different components that you can incorporate onto an app. And at the very top is a button. Buttons are really nice to work with. They're very simple for users and they're very easy to program. So we're gonna start by dragging a button onto our user interface. Now, we want the text on the button to say something about what the button does. And so initially, let's go ahead and have the button turn uh, the background red. So I'm going to put the text red. So I go over, by the way, to properties. So I've clicked on that button. I go over to properties, and now it's giving me properties of my button. So now I scroll down and I see text, text for button one. And that lines up with what we see over here. I'm going to change that to be red. So right now I've got an interface that looks like this. It looks about right, but it doesn't actually do anything because I haven't programmed it yet. So in order to program it, I need to switch screens. So this is what's called the designer screen. And this is where we create the layout of the app and decide what components are on it. To program it, we need to switch to the block screen. So how do we switch between them? Let's look over at the upper right hand corner. And you see kind of faded out is designer. That's because we're on designer. And then clickable is block. So I'm going to click on that so I can start programming. Now I'm on the block screen. And this is where I can program. So I want to program it so that when I click that button, the background turns red. So along the side, we've got references to our user interface objects. We've got a screen, and on that screen is a button. So I'm going to click on a button. So I'm going to say, when that button is clicked, now I need to click on the screen to get screen things. So I want to change the screen's background color. So there is set screen one background color. So I'm going to drag this over here. And when you drag it over and you put it inside the body of the click, you should hear a tiny little click sound. And now I need to pick a color. So I'm going to go over to the colors menu over here. I'm going to grab a red block. So now I actually have an app that can run. And now we just need to run it. So let's walk through that process. First thing you're going to need to do is install on your device 
the MIT AI2 Companion. So if you look over in the video, uh, on the camera side of this video, you can see I'm pointing at the MIT AI2 Companion. So you should be able to find that in your app store for your device and install it. When you do, the icon will look like this. So then you need to start it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start up that app. And when you start it, you get a screen here that invites you to uh, scan a QR code. So that's a blue button there. So that's what I want to do. So on the web end, I'm going to go over to the menus at the top. I'm going to go to the connect menu and select AI companion. And that puts up a QR code. So I'm going to click the scan QR code button. And then I'm going to scan the QR code. And this appears once they're, they're connecting. And so it's putting together uh, my device and the program. And so now the app is actually running. And so this is the app that we just programmed. I can click and it turns red. So this is the Color Buttons app, and it turns red very, very beautifully. It, it works very, very well. And that is an initial working app. It really doesn't take a whole lot of work to get to the point of a working app, which is really, really nice. But let's add a little more functionality to it. Right now it does just one thing. It turns red. Let's have it turn another color. So I'm going to switch back to designer. So back up at this upper right corner, if I click on designer, I go back to this view. And I'm going to add another button. And I want this button to turn the background green. So I'm going to go over to properties and to text. And I'm going to say, let's turn green. So now I'm going to jump back to blocks. And now I need to make button two turn it green. You know, the names button one and button two are, are really not very intuitive. You know, this is really the red button and that's the green button. And so what I want, I'm going to go back to the designer actually, and I'm going to rename these buttons. So button two is going to be green button. Now notice this is different text than the text that appears on the button. This is how I can refer to it when I'm writing programs about it. And I'm going to rename button one to be red button, like so. Now when I go back to blocks, I see, oh, when the red button is clicked, I'm going to set the background color to red. When the green button is clicked, well, I want to set the background color to green. So I go back to screen one, and I'm going to set screen one background color. And then I'm going to grab a green. And now I need to reconnect the app again. So this is something that happens from time to time is that if you don't use it for a little while, it disconnects. Now the app itself may well continue running. So the app is actually still running here. Um, but it's no longer connected. And so it no longer reflects how I've programmed it. So what you need to do to close it is click on the little three buttons in the upper right corner of the app and then select to stop running. And then it'll do a little pop-up menu and you're going to tell it to go ahead and stop and exit. And it goes back to your main screen. So now you go ahead and restart AI2 and then you just go back to connect AI Companion scan the QR code, and they'll be talking again in no time. And so here's my app. It's got a red button and a green button. And I can switch back and forth uh, between those two colors as much as I want. All right, so at this point, um, I want that, I'm going to give you a little challenge to undertake, and then I'll ask you to pause the video and try this out. So what I'd like you to do is add four more buttons to the interface, each of which changes it to a different color. 
uh, than other than red or green. Whatever colors you want, you can put them together however you want, any colors. Um, but four more additional buttons. So what you should do is make sure you've caught up to what I've shown you on your own machine and your own device with the red button and the green button. And then add four more buttons, each of which selects a different color. Um, so go ahead and pause this video, do that, and then come right back, unpause the video, and I'll show you how I do it. So see you in a moment. Welcome back. So let me go ahead and show you how I would add four more buttons. So I'm going to go over to Designer. And for starters, I'm just going to go ahead and drag four buttons onto the user interface. Now I am going to systematically uh, change both the text on each button and its name in the blocks so that when I'm programming it, I find it intuitive. So button four, this is going to be uh, purple and I'm going to then rename it in the code as the purple button. Then button three, uh, this is going to be yellow and I'm going to rename it in the code the yellow button. Okay, my <laughs> app has disconnected, we'll, we'll reconnect it, no problem, once we're ready to test this out. Then I go over to button two, this is going to be blue, and I'm going to rename it over here to be the blue button. And then finally this one, um, I'm going to name this the white button, and it'll give us the color white. So now I've got my button set up over here, so I'm going to go over to blocks, and I'm going to start programming. So all of these are going to look very, very similar to each other. In fact, I can copy and paste blocks if I want. So if you're on a Windows machine, you can use Control-C to copy. On an Apple, you use Command-C. And then you use Control-V or Command-V to paste. Now when you do this, you get these red X's appearing. What does that mean? You're only allowed to have a button do one thing when clicked. So the green button can't have two different options. So I'm going to switch from the green button to the purple button. And now everything's hunky dory, except of course I actually have to pick a color, uh, which is not green. It needs to actually look purple. Now when you click on the little color block, you actually have a whole spectrum of different colors you can choose from. This is looking pretty purple to me, so I'm going to go with that. Now I just need to do this a few more times. So I'm going to make another copy. And I'm going to make this the white button. I'm going to change the color to white. And then I'm going to make another copy. And I am going to make this one the yellow button. And so I am going to find a nice yellow for it. And then finally, I am going to program the blue button. And I'm going to find a nice blue to go along with that. All right. So I am ready to test out this app. So I am going to go to connect and I'm going to scan my QR code, which will just take a moment. And it's doing its rendezvous. And so here is my app. You can see that it's got all six buttons and I can jump between these colors and it works pretty well. So at this point, we've really achieved a lot actually. We have from scratch, built an app that can change into six different colors, no problem. So at this point, um, I want to encourage you to continue to play around with it. Try a few other things with the buttons, uh, see what you can make it do. 
experimentation, trying stuff out is the way that we get good at programming. And so the more you practice, the more you play with this, the better you're going to get. So that's it for our first app. I'll see you next time.